Hey YouTube, Bob here. We're approaching uh, mid-March 2014 and I got a package from none other than NOA or Nintendo of America. And what this is, is the Luigi figurine that was offered as a reward for uh, Club Nintendo members at the end of 2013. And I remember when uh, they first announced it, they uh, let members know that this would ship in March. And I remember thinking, wow, that seems like a long time away. But I got to tell you, the date really snuck up on me. I got an email the other day from Nintendo saying it, it shipped. And lo and behold, a couple days later it arrived. So let's get the package open here. One of the nice things about Club Nintendo is shipping is always free. And their, oops, and their packages tend to arrive fairly quickly. So let's take a look and see what the best way will be to get this open. It can be difficult to slice through labels and such. I'll try to take care not to damage anything that's inside, because you never know if they packaged it with bubble wrap or anything that would protect it in the event that my knife did slip all the way through. So what have we as we do the grand reveal? Got Princess Peach. What does she have to say? Dear Mario, I've baked a cake for you. Please come to the castle. Yours truly, Princess Peach. No, that's not what she says this time. She says, thank you from Club Nintendo. We appreciate your continued feedback and loyalty. We hope you enjoy your Club Nintendo reward. So, you know, and visit us on Facebook. Don't forget. So just a little bit of a card there. And what it looks like this is get the paper out of there. It's a nice box. Kind of reminiscent of the question block box that the uh, year-end uh, Club Nintendo reward was packaged in a few years ago. But this box says the year of Luigi, 30th, Luigi's Mansion collectible figurine, the figurine de collection de Luigi's Mansion, en français s'il vous plaît. Got 2013 Nintendo, made in China. Just kind of a nice little commemorative box that apparently is sealed by a piece of tape. So we'll definitely have to get that open. Just a little bit of a suggestion. Anytime you open a box, a Super NES game, an NES game, it always pains me to see that somebody has kind of just jammed their thumb in there and put that irremovable crease on this flap. So what I usually do is just get a thin instrument, usually a knife like this, and kind of gently work up the sides. And then that prevents the crease in the middle there. So what have we? <clears throat> so we've got some plastic. And dun 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 dun. There you are. Let's see, is it held together by more tape? Thankfully, no. We'll set that off to the side. Pull the figurine out. And take a look at the bottom first. So, 1851 out of 5000, 2013B. I'm not sure what that all means. Um, so it looks like this was a limited edition, 5,000, and uh, before I did this video, I did go on the Club Nintendo website, and it is no longer on there. A lot of times there's a section that says currently unavailable, and uh, a lot of times some of the more popular items <laughs> seem to be listed in that category permanently as currently unavailable, but this figurine is not even there. So it's looking like this is just a limited edition of 5,000 to commemorate the Year of Luigi. And this is probably the swan song for the year of Luigi. It did continue a little bit into 2014, but um, I think it was Satoru Iwata came on and he let us know. Or maybe it was Shigeru Miyamoto, I can't remember. Somebody on Club Nintendo said that the year of Luigi was com officially coming to an end. And I think this figuring is to commemorate that. So it looks like I got 1851 out of 5,000. The year of Luigi. It's embossed in the plastic there. The Club Nintendo logo. We'll take a look at the figurine itself. This is made out of plastic. And this little appears to be a decal with the Luigi's Mansion logo. 
And then you've got Luigi with this Poltergust vacuum. And the little ghost dog. A coin hiding underneath the rug there that's probably been moved by the Poltergust. If you take a look at that expression on his face, that is an authentic expression of terror. He does not look too happy. But one of the coolest things, and to be honest with you, the thing that tempted me to buy this uh, figurine, or not buy, but trade in my coins for it, was this ghost. I thought that this ghost made out of kind of a translucent green plastic was a really nice touch for this particular figurine. And when it first appeared, I saw that it had a price of 1,500 coins on it. That's the most expensive Club Nintendo reward I've ever seen. Even the uh, reproduction of the Game & Watch ball only goes for 1,300 coins. And that's a game. That has electronics in it and everything. This is just a figurine. And it goes for a full 200 more coins than, uh, than the Game & Watch ball. But I will say I do think it's worth it. It's a very nice figurine. Highly detailed. You can see the uh, cord for the Poltergust uh, is made out of a flexible plastic. It's painted in quite a bit of detail, especially if you look at the, at the little nuances and detail work on the wall there. And my favorite part of this is the translucent green ghost. And so there you have it. This is the limited edition Luigi's Mansion figurine from Club Nintendo to kind of commemorate the culmination of the year of Luigi in early 2014. If you're looking to pick one of these up, unfortunately I don't think you're going to be able to through Club Nintendo anymore uh, for coins, but uh, there is always eBay. Uh, you may want to do an eBay search and hopefully the prices aren't too astronomical. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, you guys take it easy.